Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Um, today I'm gonna show you how I got this cute top knot faux bang style here. Um, uh, stay tuned. So there's a couple of products that you'll need for to do this. I did this hair, I did this hair so I washed my hair, I shampooed it yesterday. And so it's freshly washed and detangled. Um, you'll need your spray bottle with water. I have a rat tail comb. Uh, a wide tooth comb for detangle, a brush, you'll need a, near, a mirror for parting, <clears throat> which is mine is right here. Um, and I used my whipped shea butter um, to uh, moisturize my hair. I also added, because this isn't all mine, so I added a piece, so you'll need some Marley hair. Um, I use the Jamaican Twist brand. Um, I already had this at home, so I didn't need to buy it. And then I have some Senegalese crochet, Senegalese Twist. Um, again, I use this for a uh, style way back when, and these are some extras that I had. Um, there's no real uh, brand on it, it's just a Senegalese Twist. This is what it looked like, and it's pre looped um, you'll also need some gel. I use this Eco Styler gel that I bought from the um, beauty supply store. And finally, Bobby Bits. So, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do here is um, start by parting your hair into two sections. Um, you'll see I'm parting from ear to ear here, and the front section is gonna be where our two strand twists are gonna be. And the back section is where the flat twist will happen. Um, but as you can see, I'm parting it right now, making sure my part's straight. I know enough to get you high floating. I got about a half an ounce of that tree. Got about a half a cup of that lean. I say, go on and kick your feet up. I'ma go ahead and twist the weed up. She said, cool to say what I think. I say, go on and do what you feel. She said, bend me over that sink. I say, damn, you wish is my will. So off camera I split the hair and started working on the flat twist. So here you'll see me putting on gel at my um, the end the top of my hair where the parts are and start to brush the gel into hair just to kind of make it make sure that it's neat and laid down. And I'm spreading that throughout the hair and you'll see me flat twisting up here to um, make sure that it's going all the way up for the flat twist. Once I get to the end of my hair, I get a strand of the Marley hair and I start to incorporate that into my hair. Again, the Marley hair is just to add length for right now and so I literally put it on top of the hair and start twisting. Twist like you see there and I just keep twisting until you can't tell the Marley hair from my hair. And I'm adding gel to the ends of my hair and to the Marley hair just so it's easier to blend. So I'm gonna keep putting gel here and twisting. As you can see just from here that you can't really tell where my hair start ends and the Marley hair begins. So this is a great way to add length. So you want to braid all the way down to the end of the Marley hair. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to tie a knot with the ends of the Marley hair. It's really simple. So you're going to do the same thing that you just did to the back of your hair until you have all of the flat twist in your hair. So again, I'm detangling my hair 
Then I flat twist up, add Marley hair to the end, and add, add tie a knot at the end of the Marley hair. front of my hair so it's easier to do the twist and to detangle my hair and I'm spraying my water bottle making sure that my hair is nice and damp then I run the wide tooth comb through my hair and make sure that it's fully detangled then I add my whipped shea moisture or shea butter concoction to my hands and spread that throughout my hair and then I start to twist, two strand twisting. I'm so tired of making love. I'm so tired of being. After your two strand twists are in, and you've completed the flat twist, the next step is to fatten, um, add tw pre loop twists to make sure that your top knot looks nice and full. And all I'm doing here is adding about three strands per Marley hair of pre loop twist. All I'm doing is unraveling the twist just a little bit to open up the loop and adding it to that strand there and pulling it all the way through to the bottom. So we're gonna slow this down. Mm -hmm. Finally, the last step is to make your top knot. So what I'm doing here is sort of splitting the hair in two to then begin to two strand twist all the way down. 
So again, I'm two strand twisting my Marley hair slash my hair slash pre-loop twist and twisting it all the way down to the end of the hair. Even when you're gone, I can still feel you. I want it more than Once the hair is twisted all the way down, all you're doing here is wrapping the hair upon itself just like you would a top knot on your real hair. And you're wrapping it around until the strand is wrapped upon itself. Next, I secure the bun with bobby pins. So here I am looking for some. And I'm just going to pin them in place to make sure that the, my top knot does not fall and to make sure that it's nice and secure. It's not fair, it's not fair. 